Kenny from Mini Bull Design and today I'm out in the workshop again. It's cold out here. It's only like 40 degrees, 38 degrees. Uh, but I thought I'd come out uh, once I got my work done in the factory and muff around out here. I got my uh, piece of aluminum for my tie rod. So once I finished my work, I came out and uh, measured everything up and built a tie rod. Let's take a quick look at that. Uh, <clears throat> I got the uh, handlebars on here. Two of those, you can see that. And there's my tie rod, and I put those on the other day, and you can see she, get back here far enough so you can see it, yeah, yeah, she's looking good. Now if I get the spokes and the inner tubes, I'm pretty close to going for a ride. <laughs> now I went back and checked, and this is basically done, other than spoking up a wheel and putting the tires on. And uh, it took me about three weeks to do it. That's a record. I've never built one that fast before. Uh, so this, this is a uh, real fast build. Now, what I'm thinking of doing, <laughs> just because I can, I'm thinking about coming back over the top of the seat and putting a rack back there. Uh, we did that with uh, Robert's trike. Robert's trike is kind of an off-road trike with, with uh, mountain bike ties on it. And he put a rack on the back fit with pannier bags. I'm thinking about putting a rack back there for my backpack. And maybe going on a uh, trekking somewhere and backpacking. Just to be different. It sounds that, that way I can mix my bicycle fetish with uh, my backpacking uh, love of backpacking. So we'll see how that works. But uh, I think I might do that. And I think it would be a fun thing to do if I could find some place where I had to trike in maybe 10 miles to a, an old abandoned lake or something and, and Robert and I spend the night or spend a couple of days hammocking and exploring. Yeah, I think that would be fun. And these old legs will take that a lot better than climbing up the side of a mountain. So, uh, let's go out in the factory and I'll let you in on what I did there today. Okay, it was a pretty darn easy day today. had like three orders. And I had to stop and build a batch of M4 stoves. I had orders for M4s, uh, but I've got them back in stock now, and I just listed uh, three more in the store. So uh, we're all set there. Uh, other than that, but that's about all I did today was build a, a batch of M4s. Fair amount of work in them, but uh, of my uh, solid aluminum carbon felt stoves, that's one of the easier ones to build, and one of the lower priced. Uh, stoves to uh, buy for you guys and it's also extremely like light, lightweight stove There's really nothing to it and if, if you've used a wick stove and you know what you're doing because it doesn't have a safety base uh, it might be a good choice uh, for backpacking because it does have the M2 wick so you can make it really hot if you want to but on mine I take the donut wick off and just put in a center wick that's three quarters of an inch long it's, it's easier to keep that one fueled, especially if you're using a remote or even a nipple cap. And I think it puts out the same heat as a, as a donut wick. So, uh, yeah, it's a good stove. A real good stove. Uh, I'm getting low on BIOS again. <clears throat> I'm going to have to build another batch of them pretty soon. BIOS and uh, Mini Atomics and Atomics. Carbon felt and original, they seem to sell about the same. So, anyway, I uh, we went to the dump today and... <laughs> Sue found a whole bunch of really ornate uh, serving dishes and candy dishes and candle holders and stuff. The only thing I got out of it was this. And it's not even old, but it is kind of neat. Uh, that's a I Love New York shot glass, and it's all frosted. I, I thought that was kind of cool. That's worthy of going up on my glass collection. So, I'm Kenny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have some fun today, and try to have a really great day. Bye-bye!